Hi everyone and welcome to another video. In this video I will be migrating from my third bullet journal, which is a little bit dirty, but that's okay, into my fourth one. I cannot believe I am on my fourth bullet journal already. And it's kind of funny because in my bullet journals I usually fit about six or seven months in them. I will be fitting seven months into my third bullet journal, including my little, uh, 2018 prep little section. Plus I still have a little bit more in here so I could probably fit about half of March in here but my perfectionist slash OCD-ness cannot handle having half a month in a bullet journal so um, we're just gonna say I fit seven plus x a little bit extra months <laughs> into this one which isn't bad because I know some people can only fit like anywhere between three and five in one so Technically, I only have to make this purchase once a year. <laughs> um, maybe twice if it, you know, whatever. And you might be saying, Haley, this journal looks a lot different than this one. Well, not really. But my peep, you are absolutely right. This is an artist loft journal compared to a loic term. And the reason I wanted to try this one is because there was a huge... Thing about this artist loft journal because one it's in stores so where I am I cannot find loic terms in store I can find moleskins in very limited colors and different page styles but I can find moleskins where with loic terms I have to order online and $30 including shipping and everything compared to $5 in store I kind of want to see how this works just in case so from just like overview, I'm not really going to do a full review of these. I'm going to wait until I'm done with this one to do a full review um, with Artist Law versus Loic Term. I did a Moleskin versus Loic Term uh, video a while ago. So this Artist Law journal really isn't that much different. It has the same amount of pages that aren't numbered really, but um, the paper is a little bit different. It's white paper compared to off-white and the paper actually feels a little bit thinner in this one and like I said I've heard mixed reviews on both of these just from my personal just people who I know have tried it versus online you know I've heard mixed reviews saying it's great I've heard mixed reviews saying it's not as good as early term so I just wanted to find out for myself and since my mom got me like four of these for Christmas <laughs> I'm just gonna use one so technically I didn't even actually pay for my next bullet journal which is nice so I guess if we're gonna start this migration video we may as well go to my of course planning page it wouldn't be Haley journals without a planning page so here's this um, it's a little bit of a cool kind of setup that I'm <laughs> proud of myself for even coming up with um, this bullet journal over here I just have what the journal was um, my obviously what worked um, and things I would like to try. I didn't really focus on what didn't work for this just because I wanted to know what exactly worked so that way I could only put those things into my next one. And then of course like things I'd like to try are always going to be in there. Uh, just over here I was just curious to see what themes I had done because honestly I forgot. Uh, so I flipped through and I figured I did citrus, astronomy, just like a pale orange color, Harry Potter, blue crystals, um, red for my 2018 stuff, and then purple crystals. And now I can add on there that I am doing a minimal space theme, but that was before I did February because I wasn't really sure if February would fit in this bullet journal, so that's why I didn't add another one. So yeah, pretty self-explanatory. This is pretty much just like my usual planning page, just without the what didn't work <laughs> section. Um, and then over here I have my artist loft for my next Bujo and it, I'm a little bit nervous and excited for my next bullet journal because instead of monthly themes I am going to weekly themes. <laughs> I'm not used to having to come up with themes that often so I'm a little bit nervous to see how that's going to work. I'm sure it'll be great because I have a ton of themes I want to do and sometimes I feel like the monthly themes are just too long <laughs> sometimes and I get bored with them um, even though I just continue to do them but uh, I'm really excited to see what kind of themes I can come up with whether that's color schemes or actual like themes like galaxy, floral, whatever. Um, 
But I have this this list, and I wanted to put, oh, hey, by the way, it's weekly, and then continue the list, because that's just how my brain worked, I guess. And pretty much the only thing I have over here is just my new Bujo lineup. So actually, on my Instagram, I went through and in my collections, I made a little folder for new, where was it? I just called it Next Bujo. And it was for this one, and it was just ideas that I found that I wanted to try. Um, I'm not going to do all of them, obviously, but I do want to try a lot of these. And a lot of them, I think, actually ended up on here. Well, probably not all of them, but some of them are weekly things, some of them are collections, that kind of stuff. So that's a tip for me, you know, now that it can pretty much be like Pinterest on your, on your Instagram, May as well keep the ones that you like and see if you can't um, put them into your own bullet journal. I think in my October planning page, pre-plan session, whatever it was, video, I actually showed uh, me going through my collections to figure out what I wanted to try. And that's pretty much where I get all this from. But in this case, this lineup is just what I wanted each page to be. And since these pages in the artist loft are not numbered, I had to go through and number all of them, which, you know, I finished in not that long at all. So, um, it was easy to just say, okay, the first 15 pages, which, <laughs> by the way, is a lot different than probably this whole section. I did so many <laughs> collections in the beginning. I had 21 pages of beginning collections, and in this one... I really only go to 13, so I cut back a lot. Um, if you've noticed in my plan with me's and on my Instagram, I've actually cut back a lot on collections and just what I'm adding into each month because I was realizing even though they were good ideas and good things to track, I wasn't actually keeping up with them. And it was just a waste of pages by that point. So um, in my lineup, I just have my artsy intro page like usual. I have my Calendex, which I'm going to try for the first time. I've never done it before, but I am noticing that I'm having a lot more future things pop up that I need to keep track of, especially with work, so uh, having Calendex is good for that. I have a future months log, which is just like a regular future log. And then I'm actually restoring a lot of collections that are in my collections bullet journal into my personal bullet journal because I realized they work better in my personal journal than whenever they were in my collections one. So uh, my ideal editorial schedule, online posting goals, and YouTube workflow, those are all kind of social media ones. And those are the ones that I was planning on putting in my collections bullet journal, but then realized they would probably work better in my personal Bujo just because I look at this one a lot more. The workflow was in my collections bullet journal already and I had actually both. I have one in this bullet journal too, but I just, I don't know, I just, I need everything that it's social media related in one place and I kind of realized that. I still have my YouTube schedule calendar in my collections bullet journal, which I'll do a whole other video of eventually. Pretty much it's just a future log that shows like what I uploaded when so I can keep track but um, even that I don't look at very often <laughs> so really it's just instead of planning ahead like I originally had it for it's pretty much just me writing in what I actually did <laughs> so whatever you know it, it works and then I have a savings and reading tracker and then I have a goals page and then I'm leaving two full spreads of blank pages just in case I find other ones I want to add in the front, which I did for the first time in this one and I actually took advantage of it. I actually added a few extra things, so. And then 14 and 15 are going into March, so actually I really only have nine collections in the front, which is really different for me. I'm not used to that. Um, the dimensions are a little bit different in Artist Loft and that's taken a little bit of time to get used to. Um, I just penciled everything in. I haven't started anything. I really wanted to just because I'm excited to go into a new journal, but getting used to the different, uh, it's kind of more squat than a Lloyd term. It's actually shorter and a little bit wider, so it's a little bit different. You know, it's a little bit 
a little bit different, but like I said, it's five dollars. So even if I don't even end up using all of this journal, if I end up not liking it, I technically got it for free because it was a gift. And even if I do like it, it's only five dollars in store at Michael's. I mean, yes, I had to go across the river to Iowa to go get one, but you know, it's available to me in store rather than having to pay thirty dollars to get it online. So again, I'll be doing a review video once I determine whether I go through all the way with this one or if I stop early I'll do a review of them maybe I'll do like a halfway review or something I don't know depends on what you guys want to see but let's just go ahead and get started into my next migration <music> Thank you. 